This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back to Comic Book Reviews. And this is a very special one. This is the review for the ninth issue of Street Fighter Unlimited, which we, of course, see some characters, which one particular would, of course, debut in Street Fighter Third Strike, or Street Fighter Three, rather. But this will be his debut. Very nice cover overall. And I would like to say to people who watch my Street Fighter reviews, I want to say thank you for making my Street Fighter comics hands down the most viewed series of reviews I've done on my YouTube channel thus far. I originally did not expect, my, actually my comic book reviews to now make up the majority of videos I do now here on my YouTube channel. And I'm glad I get to share my love for a Street Fighter universe with other fellow Street Fighter fans out there in YouTube land. Here we see a start to a battle. The, on the Island of Secret Society. And of course, we see these two, obviously, as a team facing Alex. Which definitely is big and muscular. It says here, Team Necro is back in business. I don't know what the big deal is with this guy. He's just another bug that's going to be go splat. Heads up, sugar plum. Oh, I love it when you dance, little baby. Okay. If you say so. Now let's finish this for Mr. Yu. So you can show me some of your other moves with pleasure. And yeah, he can stretch his arms just like a Delzim. I got some advice for you, pal. Yep, mentions urine to take his orders and stuff them. The last time I tangled with a bunch of you. Yep, yeah, it didn't end pretty for them. It says, see Street Fighter Unlimited 4. Which, of course, I have already reviewed. And it shows him going like an elastic to shoot her like a cannonball, basically. I am not the one of those abominations. Oh, you've done it now. Goldilocks. Good, then I won't feel as guilty putting a hurt on ya. We finish this now. Try this, corn dog baby. Okay, I don't know what's with that name calling. Really, you're calling someone a corn dog? Seriously. You seem to seem pretty close. How about I get you closer? What have I? You two have a moment. I need a word with your boss.
And as we see, they try to start a little fight. And he attacks him. I am real, you fool. And I need your help. Yes, see a picture? My help, why? Because that image might be prophetic after all. Come with me. It was a test. When I saw what trans yep, transpired at Vega's compound, I needed to see the proof with my own eyes before I lowered myself to asking for your assistance. I needed to know if it could be true. If what could be true? That you and I, Gil, share the same blood. My blood? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think the secret society runs in my family. Do not be so certain. Follow any line far enough, and we are all family. Centuries ago, there was a it mentions a group of secret society who did not recognize the authority of the elders after their bloody coup was quelled the supreme elder decided prophets foolish against extinction. The rebels were expelled, I guess you could say in another word, from the faith and exiled from the island throne to the winds of chance and left to intermingle their bloodlines with those of common outsiders. However, all were allowed to leave some rebels possessed special skills and sequences of DNA, genetic markers reserved for the breeding of breeding of candidates who could one day become the society's savior. These genetically experimental individuals were required to remain under the careful managed control of the society's breeding program. The same program that birthed me, Gil, and a number of other candidates. But it is possible that during the chaos of the coup, some fell through the cracks. During the great reaping, every candidate carrying the genetic marker participated in a bloody and fatal tournament to select the chosen one who would lead into a new era. It says, see Super Street Fighter Volume 2. Gil was the chosen one. As far as we knew, he and I were the only two left alive who still carried the marker. When I was tasked with 
creating the twelves. There were, yep, engineer with a fail safe. In the event there were to ever become self aware. The failsafe would prevent them from ever rising up against anyone carrying the genetic marker, something we believed to be unequal to only Gil and myself. And that attacks or it is attacked by a carrier results in its immediate dissolution. We thought that would unequally protect Gil and myself, but now I see that it also protect a third you. So you, me, and Gil might share a great, great, great granddaddy big deal I was never big on family reunions why does it matter and why would this make me want to help you this way you have arrived in time to see for yourself and so they continue on the conversation with things and of course we see Gil. Sadly the world has been sickened by the war, chaos, and environmental making it unsustainable for s yep for slowing the seeds of the new paradise. The earth must be scorched to halt its unrelenting decline, burning the weeds and rot that would choke the new growth. May you will be done, chosen one, that I do is not for my will, but that of heaven. This is the instrument that will fulfill our destiny, but the greatest of dreams cannot be realized without sacrifice. Bring forth the tributes. Great will heaven's blessings be on you and chosen future you have ensured with your selfishness. You will be the sparks that ignite the flames of the world's restoration. Yeah, we see things going bad. Bear witness. Brothers and sisters, it awakens. May the peace of heaven be with you, brother. Yep, he's a psycho. Brothers and sisters, rejoice before the next sitting of the sun. The genesis of the new age will begin. All hail the chosen one. All hail, Lord Gill. Oh my God, what the... Did I just see? You have seen the fate that awaits every man, woman, and child on the planet who is not under the secret society's direct protection. This was only the smallest example of its destructive power. You mean that thing isn't even at full strength? 
the weapon absorbs the key inherent in all living things and its range grows as its power increased. Those volunteers had only to meager level of it to draw upon. So they finally realize Gil believes that you are to be a great general standing loyal at his side in the New Age. But tomorrow, Alex, you will be the da his downfall. The next day. And before I continue on, please give me your thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, follow me at twitter.com slash gokusundbz, as well as Google Plus and now on Tumblr. Ryu. We have the good fortune of being able to provide you with a special opponent today. I trust that in him you will find the challenge you have sought. We have left business left unfinished for you. I hope that you have prepared well to settle it. I have. If this is my final battle with Akuma, now is the time to put all I have learned into action. Even if it is early than I had planned. Yeah, well, he's going to realize, though, it's not actually Akuma. See, wait. Akuma has never been this weak. You're not Akuma, you're a puppet. Gil, this deception is an insult to me and every warrior that has come here to compete in good faith. I will break this play thing and come for you next. The Satsu no Hado, I can fe still feel its vicious strength surging through my very fiber. But it will have no domination over me. I will rise above it. With my potential unleashed, anyone who stands in my path to triumph will meet only terrible pain and defeat. I am now so much more than Gokin or Aura Oro could have ever made me. He's losing it. He's losing control. Master Ryu, don't let it beat you. Don't let the darkness win. Only in darkness is ultimate victory granted. I have had enough with restraint, limitations, and weakness. It is time to discard this mortal form and all its frailty. It is time to unburden the light yeah and embrace the dark power that is rightfully mine just as you foresaw my lord we have our power source indeed welcome Ryu I am glad you have finally arrived 
your true nature. I am not for you. I am violence and a murderous intent incarnate. I am the Satsu no Hado, and I will paint my fists in your blood. <coughs> I'm trying to stay G rated, so dang it. No. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. But, and we see just a quick little splash of a little match between Sagat and his old pupil. Which looks like it'd be an interesting fight. Rising Tiger. And of course we see something Tiger Uppercut, which we all know too well who has fought in Street Fighter 2. Or Street Fighter Alpha 2, classic games like that against him. Jaguar Kick. Classic moves. And here's a preview for the next one. Next issue. Gil, the Mad God Unleashed. Check out that beautiful cover for issue 10 when it comes out. And that is a review for Street Fighter Unlimited issue number 9. As I said before, please thumbs up this video. I know it ended up a little longer than my usual ones. And my next comic book review <coughs> is going to be at the request in favor of a person I know personally which is a small time uh, comic book artist and he's got I think potential to become a much bigger artist. He attends all the local conventions. I'm going to be slowly every so often reviewing each of his four issue miniseries called Bonnie Lass and yeah it's going to of course be revolver on pirates obviously this is what the first issue looks like and that's his autograph by the way with a cool little parrot and I'll review that soon enough but I hope you enjoyed Street Fighter Unlimited issue number nine I look forward to Street Fighter Legends Kami issue number two soon enough. So Ramirez, same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.